Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to hide your comments inside of Jira. Are you tired of manual backups when it comes to Jira Cloud? If you've ever tried to backup Jira Cloud, then you know that it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. Well, let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. This app is made by my good friends over at Rewind, and it basically automates your backups in Jira Cloud. Now, it takes a few minutes to set up, and after that, you can enjoy manual or automated backups, and your data will never be lost ever again. Use the link in the description below to start a free trial. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now let me start this video off with a little story. A few weeks ago, I was working in Jira as I always do because let's face it, I'm inside of Jira literally the entire day. Now, I can honestly say that I consider myself a bit of a Jira expert and I know a thing or two about Jira. And I also take great pride in telling people that I can literally close my eyes and visualize the entire Jira UI and know pretty much every inch of this entire tool. And so a few weeks ago when I was on a call with the team here, somebody asked me, hey, can we preserve our permissions for our comments if we sync between a couple of tools? And that was an excellent question. But my knee-jerk reaction was like, what are you talking about? Because if you remember from a previous video I've posted in the past here, there is in Jira Service Management a way for you to hide internal comments from your customer comments. And those customer ones are going to be public. Your customer is going to be able to see them. But those internal ones are only for your licensed user. So I was very confused. And I said, well, I don't think that you can do that in Jira. You can do it in Jira Service Management 100%. I do it all day long. But in Jira Software, never in my mind in the last six, seven years that I've been using this tool, have I noticed this little ability to hide your comments. And so my mind was blown. So special thank you to the person that you know who you are if you're watching this video. Thank you, thank you to you for helping me learn something new about Jira. And so let me show you in this video what I'm talking about and how you can benefit from this little feature. Okay, so over in Jira, you've probably seen this screen a million times. And if you're like me, you always come into here, you come to your comments, you type your comment, you maybe tag somebody in the comment, and then you hit save. And that is literally for the last seven years that I've been using Jira, that is exactly how I write comments inside of Jira. But did you know that if you just look over to your right a little bit, or maybe a lot of bit, because this is kind of where when I was like defending myself as to why I didn't know that this feature existed, it was because I always focus over here. I've never once have glanced all the way to the right and seen this little lock. And so did you know there's a little lock that allows you to control the visibility of your comments. Now, by default, it is unlocked, which means that anybody who has access to your stories, anybody has browse permission, is going to be able to come and see the comment. Now, if you want to, optionally, up to you, you can click on this little lock, and then you can restrict it to people based on project roles. Now, these roles are going to be very, very important because now you got to work with your Jira administrator to help you set up these roles. But what makes this really neat is that you can now create the proper roles for like developers, your QA team. And so not only are they going to help manage your permissions and accesses across your products because your, your roles are just going to help you govern access better, but now you can also leverage those roles inside of your comments so that you can say, hey, I only want my developers to be able to see this comment or my QA team only wants to share within the QA folks about problems and anomalies that they're discovering with respect to this bug or this issue or whatever they're talking about. So I thought that was really cool. I thought that it was really, really interesting that you can actually lock it up and now only administrators in this particular case are gonna be able to see it. So if I would go over to my people section over here, and I, I just go over here. I'm not going to have a whole lot of people because, again, I'm a team of one. 
So when I go and add a couple of different roles to this particular user, obviously you're gonna have more users with the right roles. You can go back to your issue over here. I'm just gonna open it back up. And now you'll be able to see that when we go to the comment section, we have different roles. So this is going to allow you to essentially create a, an environment such that you can, again, only my product owners want to see this comment or only my developers want to see this comment, only my scrum masters, whatever your specific use case may be, this is a really, really cool and, and just different way of thinking. Now, I will give you my two cents though. I, I will give you my opinion, even though I'm showing you how to do this, right? I'm showing you how this is set up. And by the way, if these roles don't exist for you, you do need to talk to your Jira admin because they need to, I'll show you how to do it real quick. You got to go to your settings. You got to go to your system. You got to go over on the left-hand side to project roles and only your site level administrator, only your Jira administrator, org admins, they're going to be able to create these roles. But again, as you saw from my earlier screen, just having the roles, because these obviously exist, I didn't just magically create them in a second. They've been here for a while. But you'll notice that earlier, it wouldn't show. It only showed me administrator. So not only do you need to have the roles, but then you have to, in the people section of your project, assign people to these roles, and then you're going to be able to do magical things with your comments. But the takeaway, the, the piece of information, my opinion, my, my professional opinion about this is, as a Jira admin, we've all been there before. Our users go in and hit delete on an issue, and even though Jira tells them, hey, once you delete this, it's gone. It's gone forever and there is no undoing it. And yet they still click on that red button and that Jira issue is deleted. Only moments later to have a change of heart and then ask you as a Jira admin to, hey, can you restore that issue that I just deleted? So you know that that's really not possible, but let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, an app made by my good friends over at Rewind. Now you'll be able to restore deleted issues. So even though your users don't follow the warnings that Jira gives them, rest assured that using Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, you'll be able to bring back those deleted issues. Use the link in the description down below to start a free trial. I would recommend that you don't leverage this feature. Not because it's not a cool feature, obviously some people have reasons to why they wanna do it this way or not, but my personal view is basically Jira is designed to be a collaborative tool. And the moment you start putting up walls and barriers, you start to break your trust. Now, I understand if maybe you want to just limit the amount of traffic or noise that is coming out of Jira. That's, again, kudos to that. I think that's a really good reason. But if you're trying to do it because you don't want Team A to talk to Team B, you're just starting to create silos, and it's just going to really, really hurt your overall culture and your team's ability to perform. So I would recommend that if you can, forget that the little lock is there because, again, I've never used it. And... Even now, knowing that it's there, I, I personally just wouldn't recommend people to use it because, again, it's just going to create a, an extra level of, again, my, I might be a little bit polarizing right this, right? But it might just create a little level of toxicity that you just don't necessarily want to have in a team because the moment that some people have access to information that others don't, well, then, again, people, we're all humans here and there's a lot of psychology behind high-performance teams. And putting up silos and walls and restrictions and, and privilege to who can or can't see data is a surefire way to create paranoia in your teams. Now, take it from me personally, because I have had jobs that required security clearances, and this need to know is a bunch of just political stuff that just makes work super, super uncomfortable for everybody. And I just, I absolutely hate it. Maybe it's because of my experience in this classified life that just, it's horrible, right? It's, it's just not something I would recommend for everybody, right? You want a healthy team to be able to collaborate and talk to each other and not have restrictions. So those are my opinions. That's my little TED talk for today as well. Is your company looking for a compliant backup solution for Jira Cloud? Then look no further than Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud made by my good friends over at Rewind. Rewind is proudly SLC2 compliant and data is encrypted in transit and at rest using TLS 1.2 and AES 256. Crush your security and compliance requirements and get started with a free trial of Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. Use the link in the description down below. But anyways, I didn't know it was there in the comment section. Let me know if you've been using this feature because I initially thought that it was like a new feature that might have just been rolled out, but apparently it's been around forever and a day. 
So let me know down below, have you used this feature? Are you considering using it? I wanna know, cause I'm actually kind of curious since again, it's some, something that has obviously been there for a while and I just never taken the time to look a little bit farther to the right to see that there's a magical little lock in that Jira UI. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed it. And I wanna urge you and recommend that you go over to the Jira Life. It's a new YouTube channel and podcast that Rodney the Jira guy and I have started. We would appreciate you going over and subscribing to our channel. We are still under 200. We wanna crush and get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the summer. So we can only do that with your support. So do go make sure you go over to the Jira Life, link in the description down below and subscribe and have a little bit more fun. Join the peanut gallery, folks. This, this Jira Life is really centered around community. And we recommend that you go and join this Atlassian community that we're creating here. It's awesome. We call it the peanut gallery and just come in, have some fun and learn some Jira, ask questions from the pros. You get one hour once a week to talk with two experts in their fields. And that's usually a very, very expensive thing to be able to do. So go get it for free, subscribe, show your support, stop by the peanut gallery and I'll see you every Thursday. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need